Welcome everyone to my violin online class. My name is Beata. Today we will answer a very important question, how to tighten your bow and how much is enough, how tight your bow should be. I have these three bows that I'm going to show you. One has just tightened just right, one is way too tight and one is too loose. And I'm going to show you exactly the difference between uh, these bows. So let's get started. Before we get to specific on each bow, I want to show you how to tighten the bow. This is adjusting screw and if you turn the screw clockwise, the bow will be tighter. And if the, you go the other uh, way, counterclockwise, then it will be looser. Now this is my loose bow. We're not supposed to touch uh, the bow with the, with the hand, but I'm going to show you. It's very, like you can see the hair is kind of moving. And so I want to tighten the bow by screwing and turning the adjusting screw. And as you can see, it's much better. And I will show you exactly uh, the, the correct distance uh, a little later. And so this is how to tighten the bow. Don't forget we need to loosen up the bow after each practice to prevent the, the hair and the bow stick damage and stretching. So you want to loosen up the bow. Uh, now, once you pick your perfect uh, tightness of the bow, the most you're comfortable with, you simply, I usually tell the students to, to, to just follow the simple rule, is that you go three times left after you're practicing, one, two, three, to loosen it up. And once you're done, once you want to practice, you want to go one, two, three, which is back to where you have been. So that way is really easy thing to remember uh, uh, before practicing and after practicing. I want to show you these bows up close and you can see clearly that the hair is really loose. It's not tight at all and it's really easily moves around, which is really a sign that it's too loose. Now notice that uh, this bow is tightened just right and with the most narrow part of the bow you want to have a pencil length uh, distance between in this most narrow kind of a middle of the bow then you know it's uh, it's just an approximate and, and it differs from bow to bow but that's uh, more or less what you want and also notice how uh, the hair, uh, the bow itself, the wood part, right here, the stick is moving towards the hair a little bit. So it's not supposed to be straight, which you can see this is a very cheap bow and it's also the sign the bow is too tight when you see the hair popping like this. It's you, you don't want that and it is a cheap bow so I'm not expecting too much and this happens with cheap bows but Notice how this part is arching and how far it is from the pencil length in the middle of the bow, which is right here. And so you want around pencil length and uh, notice the hair is sticking out. I want to demonstrate uh, these three bows and how they react with the string itself. This one hits the, the one with the what not tightened enough. It's really pressing. When I'm pressing, it's uh, touching the hair. We don't want that. We don't want it to touch the hair because then you would just hear the wood, not the hair itself. So that's the sign it's too loose. Now this is this bow is tightened just right. And notice that I am putting a, a, applying a little bit pressure, but it's uh, it still has room for that. So with, when it comes to dynamics and playing a little louder, you need to put, put a little more pressure. And that's what we want. Now you can see this one, which is like a huge distance from the wood and the hair. And it's really uh, difficult to put any type of pressure on this. And probably if I play, it was very scary quite a bit because it will be really scratchy. So that's the difference between three bows on the string itself. All right, I hope this was helpful and uh, please subscribe and I'll see you around.